Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm talking about the top 10 websites out there based on website traffic um, that are using Python. And I'm not talking about like polyglot companies. So I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to mention um, Google just because Google is like, like I said, they use they use a ton of Python. So I could actually say Google, uh, but I'm not going to mention them on the list because they would actually be the biggest, but they don't use Python exclusively. So this list is more about like websites that have a large amount of traffic that their entire back end is written in Python. All right, guys, so number 10 on this list is going to go to Washington Post. This is one of the largest newspapers in the United States. It, it like competes with the New York Times and um, other major things like uh, Wall Street Journal. It's owned by Jeff Bezos at Amazon. All right, so number nine is going to go to Yelp, the popular business review website. One of the most popular, probably. I prefer TripAdvisor, to be honest with you, but uh, Yelp is, I guess, okay. All right, so number eight is going to go to Spotify, the popular music website. And also keep in mind that every one of these websites uses CSS, JavaScript, probably Bootstrap and SAS and all these other things that are out there. But... Um, we're talking about the back-end server-side technology stack. All right, so number seven is going to go to Dropbox, the cloud document company. So it competes with like Google Drive and uh, Box.com and a couple of the other things. But uh, this is almost primarily written in Python. They actually employed... Um, the, the creator of Python for um, a few years and lure, lured him away from uh, Google, actually. All right, so number six is going to be Pinterest, the popular photo sharing technology known for copyright and all kinds of other stuff, but they just recently went public. Uh, their stack was originally written in Django and then they moved off of that, but they're still all primarily Python. All right, so number five is going to go to Quora, and this is a popular question answer website. A lot of professionals and like uh, a lot of just random, you know, completely crazy questions. I honestly feel like some of this stuff is like staged, like by the the Quora people, where they like pose a question to try to get you know clickbait type responses and um, and traffic and things like that. So they've clearly done a, a very good job with that. Um, there's so many different people that try to compete with like this online, like, oh, let me just build a Quora type website uh, and think that the masses will come. And unfortunately, it's not like that. Quora's like, you know, probably got hundreds of millions in startup funds and all that stuff. Um, and in addition to that, you know, they have tons of workers that are making as much use of, of uh, SEO as, as possible as you possibly can do at this point. But um, anyway, clearly they've done good. They're number five on this list. All right, number four is going to go to Netflix, one of the most popular websites. Now, if you included probably all their different forms of media, I would imagine that Netflix is probably um, maybe the largest on this list. I'm not sure. But uh, the like actual website ranking of where Netflix ranks, um, according to all these other websites, so it'll, it'll sit at number four. All right, so number three is going to go to Reddit. And this is very similar to Quora, but it was kind of like the original. And Reddit is where you're going to get all your really work inappropriate discussion, all kinds of stuff. But Reddit also has like a wealth of information. So it's, it's, also, it's a great website, but uh, definitely all written in Python and uh, has been that way, I think, since it started. All right, number two is going to go to Instagram, the popular photo sharing website that really took vintage photos and somehow made that like a humongous thing. But uh, Instagram is owned by Facebook and the back end is still written in Django, the probably the, the largest web framework out there for, for Python right now. Um, and yeah, by website traffic, Instagram is number two on this list. All right, and number one on this list is going to go to YouTube. So YouTube is considered the second largest website in traffic volume next to only Google. Uh, again, you could say Google is a big Python company. Uh, Google owns YouTube, but it is kind of a separate entity. And uh, the back end is mostly written in Python. So that's the largest. Instagram, again, is like number three, I think, in website traffic. And that is um, 
and that's Python. So Python does really well with like a lot of really, really large companies. Like even, you know, when I mentioned like Reddit and Netflix, I mean, those are top 50 websites in the world. Um, so, and then like at the bottom of the list, the one questionable item on this list might be Washington Post. Cause I'm not really sure if the, if there's another spot that would get around 10, the 10 mark. Uh, but everything else should be pretty accurate. I believe based on, like I said, website, actual website traffic volume. Uh, but number 10 to Washington Post, I mean, they're probably ranked uh, top 200, 300 website in the world, somewhere around that. So um, there's probably, arguably there's other Python sites that would rank higher than Washington Post, but probably not higher than the ninth item on this list. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and take care. Have a good day. Bye.